in spite of the crazy stuff happening with CapCut and TikTok right now, I've still been able to update my CapCut to the current version on my Macintosh desktop. And CapCut just dropped two game-changing features that everyone's been begging for since day one. For professional apps like Adobe Premiere or Avid or DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro, you can have multiple timelines and multiple sequences. In CapCut, you can't, but you kind of can now. Multiple timelines or sequences are very useful. I use them all the time in Hollywood. If you're creating a longer video, when you want to do it in separate chunks without having a big massive timeline, you want to have multiple sequences. This is super helpful. So here's a project with something I've already edited. If I wanted to add a, another project to this, another sequence to this, here's how I do it. I would click on media, I'd click on import, so it reveals this sub projects thing, and now I can import any other project I've ever edited in CapCut, I can import into here. So here's how I do it. I click on import, I can choose as many of these as I want and let me just choose I don't know this one right here and I have the option down here to show the media in the media tab so what this will do anything that is in this timeline this is the timeline down here anything that's in this timeline which isn't open now with this box checked will show up in the media tab so I'm gonna import that one just like this and bam here's the other sub project it's like another timeline another sequence and then if I click in media I can scroll down and see this folder here with all of the media that is used in that project so I double click it and I can see well it was only one clip in this case so if I jump back under here under sub projects I can drag this sub project to the timeline like this this and let me drag it down here so it's on this track and if I right click on it I can see that it is a compound clip so you know you can create compound clips you know you can like select everything here and turn it into one compound clip so that it's a little bit easier to manage once it's dialed in pretty well and you're done editing it so you can like modify everything in this thing at once I'd go right click and choose create compound clip and bam all that stuff is you know simplified because it's already edited but with this other sequence this is also a compound clip and if I'm good with it like this I can just like bump, bump these guys together and bam I can just export these just like that but if I need to modify it anymore make some changes I just right click on it and I choose undo compound clip undo sub project and bam now this is fully editable now this is a very simple example so you can see but this can be done with much more complex projects this is going to be super useful and game changer for probably all of you so that you can have separate projects and then bring them all together for the final masterpiece. The next feature that everybody's been asking for is 3D in CapCut and now CapCut can do it kind of but before I do that if you're a beginner you're new to editing and you want to learn how to edit in like a day or two I've created a course just for you called Edit with Trev and Master CapCut where I teach you Everything that CapCut can do in a very concise and simple and easily paced way so that no matter where you are in that beginner curve, you are going to like learn how to edit in a couple days. It's a total no-brainer because there is no risk. If you don't like it for any reason within 30 days, I'll give you all your money but you're gonna like it and it's gonna save you like a year on your learning curve. What about that 3D thing? Programs like Premiere and DaVinci Resolve have basic 3D built into them. That means you can take a 2D object like a piece of paper and rotate it on all three axes in 3D space. Right now in CapCut, you can rotate it like this, but to get it to rotate on the Y axis or the X axis hasn't been possible. Now you can kind of do this a little bit and let me show you how. I'm pretty sure down the road they'll give us actual complete basic 3d like premiere has but right now we got this so let me let me show you how to do it so let's say you've got a clip here and you want it to rotate in 3d space you go over here to effects you type in player 3 this guy pops up you just drag it on the media you want to modify and it does like oh it's like what is it doing it's not doing anything it's got a record player here it's for a record player so we're just doing basically a hack so to get rid of the record player we're going to scroll down to texture and delete that because we don't want the record player it's got this aberration stuff that's messing things up you take it down it does that take it all the way up it does that so you take that all the way up don't mess with the vertical now it also does this whole speed thing because it kind of it like fades up in the beginning and you probably don't want the fade so we're going to speed up the fade so it says minimal as possible and then we're going to look at these other guys now we don't want any glow we're not doing any of the effects we're just doing the 3d part on the x-axis don't mess with the horizontal thing because it does things you probably don't want to do unless you want some weird effect this lateral chromatic aberration we keep it at 100 the only thing we really care about is this slider which says 
rotate. So now I can rotate this in 3D space that way and rotate it back the other way. What? Look at that. It's, it's 3D. The feature that is super useful for us to move this in 3D space is this, which rotates it on you know, on the Y axis, but back and forth along the X. So I don't know which one they'd call it, but it just does rotate thing. So we can get it angled and it looks cool. And to modify it a little bit further than that, I mean, unfortunately we can't do it the other way yet. No, this, this, this it can't do yet, but, but it's coming. But at least we can do this in 3D space right now. And we can actually click off the effect and tweak it a little more. So let's say, well, let's, let's go back on it. When you click off like, oh no, how do I get back? Click on the little star right here and it'll give you your sliders again. So let's go ahead and rotate it kind of extremely like that. Unfortunately, and I don't know why, they don't have the ability to keyframe it because you want to be able to like move it in 3D space over time. Keyframes probably coming, 3D full perspective probably coming. But for now, let's rotate it like that. And to make that maybe a little more usable, we're going to click off of that effect by clicking anywhere else on this clip like that. I'm gonna click on video up here and now we can rotate it like this with this guy so we can rotate it along, you know, what's that called? The Z axis. So, I mean, that's kind of kind of cool. So we have, and that's full rotation just like you'd have in, in the other apps. So we've got, we got Z all the way happening. We've got, I guess that's why the one that we can do with that app. We can also do is zoom in a little bit so we can, you know, fill the whole frame with it like that. And then bam, we've got this whole thing kind of in, kind of in, kind of in 3D space. It's not full basic 3D yet, but it's getting there. So hang tight. I think CapCut's gonna come through and give it to us. And I, I think they're gonna be around for a long time. Another cool thing CapCut does is have smoking templates. If you wanna learn how to use those, I would click on that, that thing right there, right now.